So the booking integration uh, allows you to compare um, bookings through your booking system, so uh, which really captures the intention. So uh, somebody goes in, makes a reservation, plans on coming into the office on a particular day, uh, has reserved a seat or whether it's a meeting seat or a desk or some sort of resource in the workplace. And so you can, again, look at, you know, uh, how does it compare from a regional perspective? This could be, uh, you know, by state, by city, uh, even by building. Uh, looking at the total number of bookings that uh, surfaced in the booking system. And then because you have sensors or if you have sensors in um, the respective spaces, you can actually then track how many people have actually checked in. So in this case, we see, you know, we have a total of 6,100 bookings in all of Canada, but we only had 3,000 check-ins. So about 50% of the bookings actually solidified as a, as a check-in. And then you can also look at the no-show. So how many of those bookings um, actually didn't show up at all? And um, there's another component in this where you can capture the squatters. Uh, and the squatters represent people that don't have a booking, but have actually showed up in a room. So the sensor's picking up someone is in a bookable space, but there's no booking for that space. And so that essentially helps companies uh, or you know, space planners, occupancy planners, designers, uh, understand what the space type demand is. And so if, imagine, you know, you've got a, an eight person room uh, and you've got daily stand up meetings that are happening in that room for 15 minutes uh, and someone is looking for, you know, a four or six person room, but, you know, there's someone in that room because it's not available. Um, you kind of want to ensure that you're not having people walking into these rooms that have multiple seats where you could provide a space for them to have those stand-up meetings, especially if they're those um, shorter, uh, shorter term type, uh, type meetings.